Hello once again guys, I hope you're all good because right now we're going to go through the top 10 left back bargains in FIFA 16 career mode. I'd just like to remind you that all the values featured in this countdown are the inquiry prices. That means you could get them for cheaper than what the post-it note says. Let us begin. Kicking us off is a veteran Frenchman, Patrice Evra. We see another elderly player make it into this countdown series, which shows us that potential doesn't always guarantee you a bargain. Valued at only 5 million by Juventus, the 81 rated left back is certainly one you shouldn't miss out on. However, 60,000 a week can be a little bit too dear for some clubs. Number 9 is another Frenchman, Fuka Arthur Mazuaku. Another difficult name to read out to you guys, but frankly, it doesn't matter. When he's a 74 rated left back due to tear it up right at the top of the 85 overall in years to come. 6.5 million and 20,000 a week is sheer nothingness when you think about what this guy will be valued at in three seasons time. At number 8, we have our first Scotsman in this countdown series, Andrew Robertson. Currently playing in the championship for Hull City, Robertson is a young lad with a big future. Valued by Hull at 5.5 million and on wages of 20,000 a week, the 73 rated Speed Demon should be written on your wish list. Down at 7 is another FC Basel youth prodigy, Nasser Aligi. Not even valued over the 1 million pound mark, Nasser is another speedy future high rated player to throw your money at. On wages of just 6,000 a week and with an 80 potential mark to reach up to, NASA is sure to grow into a fine, fast left back for your new career mode club. Another career mode favourite is based in the sixth position, Mattier de Siglio. We all know about this guy, featured as one of the best young left backs to buy over the past couple of FIFAs, and FIFA 16 is no different. Costing just 5.5 million, and on wages of 30,000 a week, you're getting a 75 rated player due to grow beyond the 84 mark. I need say no more. Halfway through is Alfonso Figueredo. He might be the brother of Tobias. I don't know. That's why we have Google these days. But anyway, 3.9 million for a 74 rated left back who's on his way to beat the 81 rated overall mark is pretty spectacular. With decent looking all round stats and on 20,000 a week, it's time to start thinking about who you want to purchase. Fourth in the list comes Angelino of Manchester City. This guy won't be making it into your starting 11 immediately, but in seasons to come, you'll certainly be glad you invested in this future star. Valued at just 600,000 and on wages of 3,000 a week and being set to reach a potential of 81. Angelino must be bought. Down to the last three now, and coming in the bronze medal position is Dimitri Falquire, a 71 rated 6 foot French future 82 rated player is an unbelievable steal for only 2.5 million. Being on 15,000 a week, this guy's price tag shouldn't even come into the equation when you start considering who you're going to sign at your left back position. This guy is good. We can't even see the face of our second place bargain, Elmir Nabiulin, a Russian Lamborghini speed left back available at selective retailers for 3.3 million, 10,000 a week for a Russian beast who's due to fly past the 82 rated mark is certainly a guy who might just give you a nasty headache when it comes to deciding who's your new starting left back. But the best career mode bargain in FIFA 16 for the left back position is... It's an Englishman. It's Matt Target of Southampton. I mean, I go clubbing a lot in Southampton, but that's, um, that's not even part of why he's a bargain. Valued at just 1.6 million and on wages of 3,000 a week, you'll be getting a 6 foot 66 rated player who's going to dominate things at the 82 mark. The value price and wages are just ridiculous considering he's due to become one of the highest rated left backs in the game. And the countdown is done. The Russian guy certainly looks damn good for a starting choice left back. NASA is also probably my second recommendation for you. But that's me done for another episode. I've been Brace for Impact and thanks for watching.